three JPS. I think I have to talk a bit louder as you can hear. It's storming, it's raining, no wind, um, a bit of a chill in the air, but it's it's beautiful rain, it's greenery, it's stunning. After this, I'll snap a photo and show you how much it's raining. <laughs> well, the wind is not blowing, it's not cold, it's just a nice chill in the air, it's perfect for me. Um, so I thought I'll do this video quick. I done this two days ago and it's just been in the kiln. I had a peak. Um, I don't know what to think yet. I don't know what to say. So I'm just going to show you what I've done. We've got the um, Wonderful Festival next year. And I started making yarn bowls. And um, I made my own way, my own unique style, you know, me doing my own thing. So I don't know how it came out. Um, there's a few things I'm trying out. So I'm going to be showing you now. I'm excited to look at it. Um, I'm doing just all sorts of yarn bowls, different shapes, different sizes, patterns, um, the roller pin um, pins with different designs on there. So this is just a few. So I'm basically getting ready for next year, April, Hull Festival. And um, Wonder, Wonderland, you can go on Facebook. It's Wonder, Wonder Wool Festival in Belf Wells, uh, the Royal Well Show and obviously I'm getting ready also for the Royal Well Show on the 26th of November so I'm excited to show you what I've done let's get it, go let's get it on, let's open it up, open it up Janine <laughs> let's go Ooh, I don't know where to start as you can see I don't know what to do okay my mother said pick this one <laughs> Okay, so this is Amagon gla glaze, this is stone brick, this is like a brick reddish color and what I've done is I got some stamps and I stamped on yarns, scissors on these ones. I've done a few plain ones, that's where you put your yarn in, that's where you can put your, your um, knitting needles crochet pins in so this is the first one I could change the design okay but like I said I'm doing loads of designs I'm quite pleased with it this one didn't spark me yet so I think it's the color that I don't like but obviously there's other people out there that will like it but I love my my yarn where it goes through I've done a cut it's beautiful it's beautiful beautiful okay let's see the next one okay this is a bit more me yeah so what I do also I'm gonna carve out patterns on me so this is the first one that I've done we are carved out my pattern so I think I have to do more carving so it can be a bit more unique I love this one. I love the holes in there. This is wasabi amagon amago glaze inside. And I didn't do the outside. It's more stony. As long as the inside is glazed and smooth for the yarn to go around. Even on the on the seal. So, so the yarn will go nicely in there. Smooth. It's perfect. I like this one. Well, I love crochet. I can knit. But crochet is my thing. Um, this one is sky blue so I've done the inside of this one and I've done the same patterns designs on here so that also came out perfect these patterns doesn't shock me but it's it's beautiful I think I will just do all my carving on them it's a nice size also I'm going bigger going smaller so I'm doing all the sizes I was testing out a few underglaze and this is what I do for my pottery students so they can see what how the colors come out so that is one coat that's two coats so this is a sample to show them how the colors come out that I've done came out beautiful so these are for my neighbors I've got three of them in the kiln or so and I thought I'll do something different 
and it's because it's closer to Christmas and it's my friend's birthday next week Monday so ta -da! <laughs> I did a a, a block um, how do you say for our house so each of the flowers mushrooms are all put on top of this glade on top of this and I've carved out the address and you can see it's all on top it's not it's added on so it stands it pops out my color is not nice on here but I've made two holes for the screws so this will go on a gate or on her side of a house so everyone can notice it this is one out of three and beautiful I am so pleased with this. she's gonna be so shocked I hope she doesn't look at don't look at this video close your eyes when it comes here <laughs> oh, she's got OMG <laughs> She loves butterflies, so I did butterflies, leaves, mushrooms, flowers. This is gonna, oh, it came just as beautiful. I did a wavy one instead of a straight one. Oh my God, I can't, I can't wait to see their faces on tomorrow. I'm gonna give it tomorrow because I only see them tomorrow. I won't see them next week. She's gonna love this. Oh, wow. This came stunning out. I made a big flower and also the same the mushrooms and the leaves and the flowers on there but it came out stunning they're gonna love this oh my gosh this came out and I have to make me also one I didn't make me one oh my gosh this is beautiful oh Gabby oh my gosh this is stunning I can't believe it came out so beautiful and you got the two holes so you can put it on your your house or your gate stunning and it's glazed it's waterproof it's everything so it's perfect for outdoor okay let's get back to the bowls I've got six more so I told you I did some plain ones this is um, it's not indigo float it's something else <laughs> but this came out stunning look at that nice colors it's in between this picture is not showing I'll take photos once it stop raining outside so you can see the color of it it's not cloudy it's how this glaze dripped on here so it's stunning this came out beautiful I, I just like it playing just plain and it's and it's got its own style this glaze got its own way of dripping giving all those different shades oh my gosh yeah these ones I've made holes here so it's just to bring out the, the design a bit more this one I love Um, so I had some glaze that was left over just a little of it and I thought no I need to kind of use all this glaze up and what I've done is I kind of glaze this one this one is a dark pink it comes out light on the video I know get a new video get a new camera Janine but this is a beautiful pink this also came out stunning I, I've I think the plane looks nice, eh? The plane and the carving, I think that I should stick to that, not the, the press, um, the stamps, basically. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And you know, it kind of curved nicely. So your yarn stays inside while you're pulling it. You know, while you're knitting and you pull, your yarn stays inside and it's just going in the circle. It's curved beautifully so this is not slab my yarn bowls is not slab construction there are different ones where i do slab constructions where it's straight these ones are coil coil construction where i roll it and go around and use my thumb my fingers to kind of smooth it so you get all these little bumps in it but it's still smooth with the clay with the glaze you smooth it out 
which form this beautiful bowl. I'm so pleased. So we've got another green one and on this one also we have all the stamps I did. That's the basket with the yarns in. That's the sheep. I should have made the sheep white. Eh? I shouldn't have left it the, the color of the clay. And then the knitting. Yeah. And then inside it's wasabi. I like the carving. I was like, the carving is my thing. Oh, look at this one. I did like a zigzag on top and I just did a lot of colors. This is beautiful. The carving works, not the stems. I don't like the stems at all. I like doing it myself. I think my next lot, I'll do a few more carvings, more colors. And, um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll just, what do you think? You tell me. Should I keep to my coffee? I know, keep to both, because then I've got a variety. I'll keep to both, but I think I'll do more carving than the stems. The roller pins is also fine. We've got its own designs on them. But then I have to do slab construction with that. And I won't be able to do the, otherwise I have to use the small ones and roll it up. The rolling pins, the small rolling pins. But, this is stunning. Look at that. This is stunning. I could do another zigzag at the bottom. Leave that open to the stone. And if I do a zigzag at the bottom. Oh, ideas come in. Ideas. Watch the next one. I'm going to be doing more different ones. My favorite also. And then I had a little blue left. Um, this was with the powder where you make your own glaze on. Um, you mix your powder with your water where most of my glaze are ready made and I had this little glaze left I had the same with the pink and then I've got the baby blue also which also came out beautiful I think the plain colors work nice but those who are unique the colorful ones also work nice so you'll have a variety and you pick your favorite next year okay oh my days love 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 last one I did a mustard color um, what color is this now again? Mary Gold. Mary Gold. This is nice. I love this color. It's so nice and bright. It makes a difference. Also got the stamps on here, but I'll use, I'll make one with this color inside with my carving outside. That's going to be nice with all the different carvings outside, the colors, and then you get this inside. That's going to be stunning. Oh my gosh. This is so stunning. Oh my gosh. So this is coil construction where I kind of use the coil and smooth it in, shape it the way I want it to because I want that curve inside where the ball, the yarn is going to lay and roll in and then you've got your little hole where it can come out. You can use these ones too. It's up to you. You put your needles in there or your crochet or you can put it just inside. Um, yeah. This is stunning. Oh, I'm, I'm going to do another video. I'm busy with different yarn bowls. And I'm doing some vase also, where you can put your knitting needles in. So I'm doing those ones also, colorful ones, two together. You know, one on its own, where you can just put your tools in. Look out for that video also, and the other ones that I'm going to be making. I'm so excited. I'm pleased with my yarn bowls. I'm pleased with the gifts I made for my friends for Christmas, uh, for their houses, the plot. Um, signs. Um, I'm happy how it came out. I, I don't know what to say. It's, it's beautiful. Well, I can't wait for the Royal Well Show at the 26th of November. I'll have a table with my mugs there, and I can't wait for next year. Yarn bowls is on the table. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, guys.